important uh, concepts interpolation and extrapolation and there is another term which came into existence that is regression so first of all in this lecture i will start with the meaning of these three terms interpolation extrapolation and reg and regression so for this let us consider a experimental data because these three are very important when we do some experiments so consider experimental data consider a rod and that rod is heated up at different temperatures and say l with the length of the rod in millimeter and here we have recorded the data that that Uh, what is the length of the rod at different temperatures so let us say 20 degree it is in degree centigrade and it is in millimeter length is in so it is at 20 degree its length will be 800.3 millimeter and 30 degree it is recorded that it is 800.4 and uh, it is in degree so need not to write down it here right and then at 40 degree it is 800.6 it is the length at 50 degree it is 800.7 and at 60 degree it is 800.9 and at 70 degree it is 801.0 so this is the experiment which we have performed in the laboratory right let us assume that now now we generally need to determine three things first thing is that what is the length of the rod what is the length of the rod at different temperatures between the given range that is 22 70 degree so if say we are interested to find out the length of the rod, uh, rod say at 24 degree centigrade then how to determine it because experimentally i am able to note down the values at uh, after 10 degree each right so now the problem arises that how to do that that is the main important issue and that means such a process is known as interpolation so this process is known as is known as interpolation so what is the meaning of interpolation that means interpolation provides interpolation provides a mean of a means of estimating the function at intermediate points right so this is a very important thing which we have to keep in mind this is the one thing generally we uh, we need and another thing 
which is needed. But if we are interested interested to estimate the length of the rod beyond the temperature range beyond the temper temperature range which we have taken in the experiment which we have taken during experiment here this is 20 to 70 degree means if we are interested to find out the beyond the given temperature range say what is the length of the rod at 85 degree centigrade or 100 degree centigrade if we want to do this then how to do this how to do this this process is known as such a process is known as extrapolation so let me define the extrapolation now extrapolation is a type of estimation beyond the original or given observation range of the value of a variable on the basis of its relationship with another variable and this relationship we can see from the given experimental data so the important thing which we have to keep in mind that extrapolation is similar to interpolation which produces estimate is similar to interpolation which produces estimate beyond the known observation where as interpolation it estimate the estimate between known observation but another thing which we have to keep in mind that extrapolation is subject to greater uncertainty
and higher risk of higher risk of producing meaningless result right so these are the two things which we have discussed now third thing which we have to keep in mind which is needed sometimes it is necessary to find out the relationship between experimental value so this relationship may be used to test the existing mathematical model and uh, such a process is known as regression right so let me define it sometimes it becomes necessary to establish establish a mathematical relationship for the given experimental values this relationship may be used ship may be used to test existing mathematical model or establish new mathematical model so that means this process is help us to establish a new mathematical model that's why it some sometimes or in most of the times this method help us to give a new law and this is a very important uh, process which we have to keep in mind and the process of establishing such relationship in the form of mathematical equation equation is known as regression analysis analysis or sometimes called curve fitting so it depends upon the experiment whether the things we are bear is linearly or non linearly if things if during experiments data varies either linearly or non linearly on the basis of it we can classify this as li either linear fitting or non linear fitting we call it as curve fitting right so these are the two things which we have to keep in mind so depending upon experiment that we will do these things right so this is all about this lecture now in the next lecture i will talk about uh, linear fitting 
and then i will discuss with you curve fitting right so that's all for this lecture